this might actually be the most organized I've been in this room, or at least for a long time in this room. <sighs> let's, let's see what I've done. I've been meaning to make a lot of videos. I don't know. I was going to make a video about how I've aged 20 years or what happens when you let yourself go for a month. That's coming. And I think I'll mix it in with a, my, my minimalist beauty routine. But nonetheless, number one, getting the same boxes. There's two tips to that. When you have all of the same boxes, oh, also that can be seen here. Things are so much tidier when they stack perfectly together. So that really helps out a lot. But I mean, even a cardboard box can look so nice if they're all the same. So those are projects. Every box is always a project. I mean, some of this stuff is storage stuff. I'm the most unsuccessful toy tuber in the world. But I love toys. I have to, I am minimal, I'm minimizing everything, minimalizing everything, getting rid of as much stuff as I possibly can. It is taking forever. It's a horrible task. I, 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 I don't know what to tell you. Grocery store. So when you go to the gro first of all, you want to store things in all of the same boxes. Huge tip to keeping things organized. Also, boxes are great for when you have a mess around, taking one, getting one box together and then just picking up all of the stuff that's laying around that you don't know what to do with or that has been put there and you do know what to do with, but you can't. You don't have time to take everything put it away. You could just pick everything up, collect it, throw it into a box, and then you can come back later, take that box, take one thing out of it at a time while reducing your vis visible clutter. I mean, I still have some visible clutter, like my earbud things, which they're working out to be the, one of the best things that ever happened to me, wireless earbuds. But and then I have these little, yeah, so many baskets of projects and stuff. I don't know. Some things we can do better. A lot of toys, a lot of, I don't know, uh, so many projects, so many things I want to do. That's why I'm the happiest, poorest person in the world, because all I can do are things that make me happy. Okay, back to this. Grocery store. So when you go to the grocery store and you want to find all the same boxes, and nowadays, I don't know about you, but where I live, people use, they don't use bags anymore. So there's a lot of grocery boxes. The grocery stores keep all of their boxes and they don't like share them and they hide them or, um, yeah, they're just, or they compress them and it's really hard to find a cardboard box or get your hands on a cardboard box. What else do they do? Oh yeah, also there's all of the online orders now. So many people make online orders and have their groceries delivered. They also use their boxes for that in the grocery stores. But what I do is I find their biggest display, find the nicest box possible, find the reoccurring display. So I found this, they always have this laundry detergent and it's also easy to unbox it. So there's only six detergents can fit in there so every time I go to the grocery store I know where to beeline to so I go to the laundry detergent section and they have a big they've been having this stand for months so I just take out six jugs out of it and I put them where the box was because they have the detergent out of the box on top of the boxes and I just uh, move usually there's space to do it if there's not space to do it I just put the laundry detergent um, on the shelf next to it or something but there actually is always all of this blank space so i just open one of the boxes that are revealed take out all the stuff and then that's what i carry my groceries home in and i get a box that's organized that matches that stacks perfectly because you, you can just everything's so much neater and better and i actually love as you can see I think of those, especially with the things that I like, wood and natural cotton and stuff, it looks so much better than a plastic box. I hate plastic. That is one of the things that I'm always struggling with, or I wouldn't say struggling with, but I don't want plastic things in my home. And I just, I mean, I say that, but check out that. Paint is plastic though, we have to remember. Cables, it's just, 
when I when I have something, I want to choose it. I made sure that the cable is black, and that I don't I don't mind when the extension cables are black and they're laying around. These are. This is something I already told you I was gonna get rid of these. And then I mean I use them. I can use them to light up the place. I should probably be doing that right now because you need as much light possible when you're making a video. I don't even know what I'm pointing the camera at. So yeah, there, now we have better light. I mean, I found those for $5 at Ikea one day and uh, I really like them. They're the industrial part of my style. I don't know if they're my turn of the century part of, part of what I like. But I guess they are functional, and while I'm, they can, they're disposable. I could leave them behind. I could leave all of the stuff behind. I don't like white lights, but they are definitely better for shooting videos. So only when I'm shooting videos or doing like a deep cleaning do I put those lights on. And uh, I guess I guess you could say built around my huge diorama setup. It, or and I also use that as a stand-up desk that I guess it's okay that rug really throws stuff off I don't I I do like to use it for for toys diorama toys and stuff but in real life that probably should go and yeah it works oh it works good in castles but not not in here speaking of rugs definitely too small but I do like something to wipe my feet off on I never liked any rugs I always loved the floors showing and probably in a bigger place where you can keep things you can keep things cleaner in larger places strangely enough you would think that a smaller place would be easier to clean but I think that it's probably harder because like, the dirt gets all the same the same amount of traffic in uh, a smaller amount of space I keep I keep this old old I keep this bath mat just a bath mat I had for a long long time as a door you know to keep out dust and smells and I don't know what else comes under that door um, light air smoke anything um, door stops drafts you know that's what that's what they're most intentionally for now I had a lot of boxes here so like I said I'm working at selling a lot of things so for a while I had all kinds of boxes piled up so that's why this isn't all perfect I also don't think that putting the two bags that I use the most there I really only use this one all of these boxes were put here I had stacked them up because they were the stuff that I was working on selling and sorting the most so they ended up being stuffed in the closet which is not this is this is not organized this is not this is kind of organized this is the stuff that I'm working on selling uh, mostly the stuff that's listed I would say well, yeah this is the stuff that's listed or supposed to be listed on eBay and then and then there's things like this all right so I kind of accepted red plastic into the mix when I had stuff like I I want everything to be natural and real and like if I'm gonna have a fan or I guess it's a kind of a space heater that there was no heat in the house at one point or the furnace was broken or something and uh, the owner gave me that space heater, but that's not good enough. I had a milk heater, but I broke it. I uh, kicked it around. Uh, I guess I think that's what they're called, milk house heaters, something like that. But as I would want something a little more old fashioned, a little more industrial, something made of metal. That's not pleasing. I know that they, I love dust, I love dust mops. They're so cool. They're so useful, they work so well. But they do make, I would like a metal wooden one, cotton. I think actually I'm gonna just throw that out. You can use a rag and a stick. So yeah, I know that they do make in huge industrial dust mops, but I'm not in I'm not gonna buy anything like that now. 
like this, which I got at the dollar store, is look at this. It's it's wood and metal and beautiful. And I use I can use this for hanging clothes and stuff. Hey, let's segue to hanging clothes. Uh, I I had these things that I use, you know, to dry. I always dry my uh, dark, my darks. Yes, I always dry my darks. On, I hang my darks to dry. So having that so useful. Uh, uh, and but I have no place to put it. it. Was always floating around. I was always kicking around. Put it in the window. The idea came from me trying to make this window or also having them and having them kick around but once i hung my curtains halfway so nobody can see me in here yet at the same time i can't usually i have these up so draft can come through that's a a new thing that i figured out that no one could still see me and i could have a little bit of draft coming in the open window which i like to do for you know either at the shower or because I I cook in my bathroom potatoes that's a that's a whole other that's a whole other problem anyway those look beautiful and they I love how that looks like it's a pioneer house in this 1950s house and the same kind of thing happens there it just looks like I don't know, it gives wood to my window and it's also a great place. It lets the light in, but I can still store those things that I like to dry clothes on. Um, useful at the same time. I keep I keep the t I keep my packing tape in that vessel. That's where I keep my packing tape. I don't, I don't, I don't know why I should have a station. I should be working on that. I mean, what I'm working on is selling everything and moving out of this house is, uh, is the thing that I'm really working on. So I don't know about setting up stations right now. Uh, like there's, there's just so much, we, there's way too many things. What else did I want to tell you about this? Uh, I made, I didn't really do anything today. Oh, I'm such an expert at slow living. I, I see these people struggling with slow living. I'm the best slow liver in the world. Slow liver. It's, it's what I meant to do. I can't, I, I'm, I love everything that I do in my day and I don't get anything done. I mean, yeah. I mean, I get a lot done. I made my bed. They say that that's what you're supposed to do. But I have no struggle with with a comparison. I mean, I, I want to live in a house. I want to live in a mansion. I really do, but I'm not... That's not one of the things that I compare myself to others. I mean, I only feel bad that when I'm walking on the highway and the trucks drive by and splash me with mud and because nobody's supposed to walk on the highway where I live it's the only way that I can get around is riding a bicycle or walking and there's no place to walk or ride a bicycle so you get splashed by mud and snow especially this time of the year that's when I feel like I'm doing something wrong because we're not it, it's not made to walk around and yet I have to walk around because I don't have a car or yeah because because my slow living lifestyle doesn't work that way uh, I don't want a car either to tell you the truth I do I would like things to be more practical though and I guess that's the that's that's where I fail in life is that I'm not in a position for things to be as practical as they could be. I must I must tackle those boxes. I must put all that. I must sell or get rid of that stuff as soon as possible, along with the whole a whole other huge room filled with toys that I am excited to get rid of. I'm excited to get rid of everything in on this shelf behind here which i'll probably do with you one day i'm excited to get rid of everything that are in these bins which 
I guess I'm excited to do with you. I guess I'm excited to get rid of everything. The CDs I know that I have stored back on those shelves. And uh, I think recently I've put DVDs in those boxes. They used to be on these shelves, but I was going through one, I guess. I guess we're at the point, even though there's some good DVDs that, you know, don't stream. But the one thing that I've noticed is there's a lot of stuff. <laughs> there's so much stuff. There's so much even free stuff to stream that you could never run out. I love watching YouTube. So, and then also I love watching things over and over again. So um, the same stuff I can watch over and over again. <sighs> That that's not a problem. I can that stuff can be just thrown away. However, with this minimizing, I like the fact that um, I can choose my favorites. And however, I can't always get to my favorites. That's why I am having to minimize a lot more. I don't know. What, I even don't know what this video is about. It's about me boasting over how I feel so organized. You can notice how I'm still cramped in here, yet I feel organized. I don't mind these these black cables because black cables are industrial and they match where I live. I could walk away. I, I'm, I think I'm, that's what I'm trying to tell myself. I can walk away from these lanterns. I can walk away from the bookcases, even though in an ideal world, I would love to take these with me whenever I go somewhere. Um, it, it often happens that I have to leave them behind or uh, I don't know, or somebody that somebody I'm living with doesn't like how they look so I have to use them less or put them in a closet or leave them behind because they're the last thing to go. But I always end up buying more. And you know what, for the most part, I have brought them with me because I know I have different styles. That's one of the problems here, which I've talked about on this channel forever, is that I never did get around to taking the ones from the other room and mixing them with the ones that actually fit together and making this one, two, three, four, five, six segment uh, shelving unit all attached to one piece. It's just, this is one system and this is another system, even though I do have a whole room full of the same matching system that I could, you know, put here so you can't tell, but for the most part, like from that angle, you could tell here, but in general, you can't tell. So that's why I don't think about it that much. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't like plastic. I, I don't want to have plastic things, except for that. This, this is kind of driving me crazy lately. I think that means that this all has to come down because I have opened two of these extra toys that I had that were sitting in that spot. And now I have this big blank spot and it, it won't match. So anyway, that stuff should all come down anyway. Those are my two art pieces. Those are supposed to be the only place in here that I have toys. I'm not even supposed to have toys at the top of these units. I, they're supposed to be like framed of special things, but things overflow despite you wanting them to. It was just to be supposed to be two, two things of toys, no other toys around here, like using what I collect as artwork, rotating it. I think that time is gonna come. I also like when they're blank, which doesn't happen, and I have a hard time uh, throwing out or recycling. Well, I don't know, I don't think, I don't think I don't think you can recycle things anymore. <laughs> but um, yeah, I have a hard time throwing out the tin cans because I think tin cans look beautiful and useful. And I mean, I use one as a mini garbage can. Did I say that in this video? It's the one thing that I even, I don't have like garbage. I have a garbage can, you know, in the bathroom that I put everything in, but just they have this little one that comes in very handy and there's always like a little plastic tie or something that I need to throw in there and having just a little tiny little garbage can floating around which is just a tin can 
comes in handy and then you can empty that out eventually anyway i struggle with this but every once in a while i do clear off the shelves when it gets out of hand i uh take these and put them in the recycling bin i still haven't come up with any fantastic use i've tried projects i've tried cutting them up and uh, bending the metal and making stuff with the bent metal but it, it's, it's, it's unfortunately just not worth it i've mentioned that i don't really like this style of this antique pottery but i do really like well this is my one of my favorite pieces for sure I guess these are my favorite pieces. This definitely, this probably is my favorite one, and at least this is what I would take with me at the very minimum. And uh, I guess it would be all that I would need to remind me of what I love, old stuff. I've shown all this stuff before. I just, oh toolbox not good enough it's from the dollar store but it is black plastic so it it doesn't really show up the air purifier from ikea that is made of metal and it's got pretty nice colors it's not really noticeable it does more of the industrial side of me i don't not happy with this pull-up bar it's much too modern i've talked many times also about how i would just like to have what are they called swedish ladder I think it's called Swedish. Maybe. Hopefully I'm not doing something wrong. Hopefully I'm not being offensive to a country for getting the country wrong. Anyway, a ladder that you see in gyms would be so much better to have made out of wood than this. Even having, I used to have a bar that went across here. Uh, across here, it would have been better to have that than this monstrosity. I don't even use these extra handles. I think I tried using these angled ones that are out further, but I think it was hurting either my elbow or and or my shoulder. So I started just doing the regular pull-ups from these inner pads and uh, that seems to be working. And also, oh yeah, that's one of the main things I loved. I, there was a stint before I think my uh, groin started hurting and I had been doing yoga um, every second morning here in this space. But then I had put all of my uh, items that I was trying to sell got boxed up here and I couldn't do it for a while. Also, I was either had some kind of virus or um, I don't know, something was wrong with my my groin area and was hurting, my testicles were hurting, so I, tr I didn't know if I had pulled something, given myself a hernia or whatever it was. Anyway, it has surpassed. It was probably just a virus because it's that time of the year and I kind of, that's where I feel things. So anyway, that's over with. I'm going to continue yoga probably tomorrow. I will, I push, I usually push the bed over up against there just a little bit. Um, it's easy to push the bed over and then give myself a little more space here. And I put down a mat. Well, I will move, remove the rug, which I had my yoga mat standing by ready to go. I think I am just going to throw out that dust mop or at least put it in the basement out of sight, out of mind. And uh, that is kind of how I, uh, because I do really only use, I only want to contain myself to this one room and I feel because it's the room that I can control. So yeah, it does, getting stuff out of this room is like me getting rid of it completely and knowing that at any moment I could, I don't know, I don't know how to get rid of stuff. Again, not having a car, but if I had access to a vehicle or a way, I could just put load up everything that I know that I don't want or care about or worth anything that I could take to a donation place immediately. There are places for me to uh, easily drop off clothing, so that's really easy for me to do. That's something that I wanted to show you, is that this is this is working out really, really well. I got rid of, look, 
Look how many, look how much clothing I got rid of. That's insane. All of those empty hangers. Now, I don't want to get rid of those hangers because I've collected those over the years and they're beautiful. However, I've thought about going through them and choosing the ones like this one. I can tell by, you know, by the way that the metal is made. This one, it's, it's pretty nice and old, but it's not as nice, it's not as old as this one. So I would keep the more rudimentary ones, even though most people would rather have the ones that were nicer. I like the oldest old ones. However, some of them are different sizes. So that is something that I can do. There's like a, I noticed that one of these was a children one. So what I should probably do is actually go through all of these. Like I'll have to look under the shirts and uh, see which ones are the best ones and group them together and maybe keep the ones that i mean i do tend to like the ones that have uh, the brands on them it's just kind of it gives them character tells you their history what hotel or what store or what fur company that they're from so that is like will i need this many i mean there are some that are definitely I could get rid of. I mean, what if I have a what if I have a baby one day, and I need to? I don't think I have enough of these. However, then I think about if I um if I ever have a mansion, I don't have I I don't have I won't I won't have to worry about any of this stuff. I'll be able to uh, you know buy the stuff because if I have if I live in a mansion, I'll be rich, obviously. So I don't need these things and I'll buy them again. I mean, I don't want to be wasteful and it's kind of, is that sentimental? I mean, there's not much, I don't have very much sentimental, like anything that was passed down to me from, I don't have anything like that. I don't have anything passed down. And if I do, have, I don't care about it. It's nothing that means anything to me. These these mean more to me this is all this is a consideration see how this one hangs lower than all of the rest of them that means that this one probably would be one that you know i would do the best the funny thing is look how this one is falling apart and it's kind of rickety however this is one of the ones that i like the most but yeah that that is something that i could do i could uh I could tone those down, but I would still want to keep them. Put, you know, I could have wooden, nice wooden hangers in every room. Here's a full length mirror <laughs> that I never use. Uh, one thing where I freaked out a little bit when I was like, because I was so happy that I have taken away so many clothes and minimized my stuff. I um, had taken this stack of, I mean, do I wear these the most? I actually haven't been wearing the sweatpants very often. And I haven't been wearing um, some of those. You can see those sweatshirts back there. I told myself that I could only have 12 or 24 of these boxes because it would be easy to buy a storage unit. If Even if I didn't have a place to live, I could easily put 12 or 24 of them in a storage unit for about $200 a month. But then I held up these sweatpants to the box and it was like, what? Like, I, those boxes are huge, but in comparison to these piles of clothes, I don't know how much I could legitimately fit in there. But now that I'm thinking about it, I guess when it comes down to it, I would just, I would have to not have these sweatpants. But I'm not going to get rid of something, which is something that they don't tell you in minimizing videos, minimalist videos. Did I tell you that I should have been doing a video about how I, how I aged myself from, did I say that in the very beginning? I said something like my morning routine video, but how I aged myself 20 years in one month. I think either that's the thumbnail or the thumbnail is... I'm turning into a werewolf because I haven't done anything. The back of my neck is so hairy. Maybe you can see it here. No, the lighting's so bad. And the lighting is bad in here and giving me like weird wrinkles under my eyes and that. Uh, yeah. Maybe, maybe I could just discard that stuff. Just keep 
just keep a gr just keep a gray and a black one and then I wouldn't need it here I wanted to tell you this too all of these shirts have been worn and I haven't washed them I just wore them and then I hung them up again I mean I wore a t-shirt underneath them whenever I wore them some of them I've worn more than once and you know it's just like an over shirt because it's winter time and to keep me warm but I wanted to wear these are the ones that I haven't worn yet and uh, I actually wanted to wear the clothes that I had. I mean, I don't know how many of these suits I wore. I also, this over here, I have hanging stuff that I wore recently. Like I wore this suit yesterday. So um, it's kind of just airing here. I mean, it was airing on the pull-up bar, but I just put it in here. And these jeans I wore a couple times without washing them. But then I know, I guess that is a good... If I got rid of those, if I got rid of some of those hangers and I had more space here, that would be a good place to keep things. I could air things out on one side that I've worn once or twice, and then over here could be all of the clean things. That's a that's a good system. The baskets, the piles of things that I'm not. I don't have very many things that are you know like pe normal people have stuff that is useful but I'm, I, I have been I've been I've been minimizing a minimalist believe it or not despite all of the toys I have that's where it gets but I, I only have a I only have a few plates I only have a couple knives and forks and spoons or if I do have more of this stuff it is stuff that I can leave behind or donate at the last minute or maybe should donate now Anyway, these are the shirts that I haven't worn yet. Um, two of these are, these are summer shirts. Uh, the blue one, where's that? Is that here? Oh, it's right here. I wore this yesterday. This actually I might get rid of. I put it on, I didn't like the way that it fit. Sometimes cotton, you wear it so much that, sometimes you wear cotton so much that it gets softer and better, but sometimes you wear cotton and it just gets stretched out of shape and stiffer in some places and deformed and not not as cool anyway i love all of these shirts i know oh except for this blue one but all of the other ones definitely are a go uh this is a more summer shirt this one i don't know why i haven't worn this, this is probably the nicest shirt i have i think this is the shirt i meant to wear the other day but wore this lighter one which is still pretty awesome just some natural cotton army shirts can't go wrong with that a white dress shirt i'm not going to wear very often in my normal life this one's stained but i just love it I love it despite it being stained. I love the cotton that it's made out of. And I kind of don't care that it's stained, which is weird. I told the story about me rushing somewhere, rushing to get a train and dropping and it being winter, but it's, why am I telling this story again? And I'm taking it off because I was sweating so much, rushing, and then I dropped it in the mud. And then this one, this is too summery to wear, so I could put those together. This one's just too, I guess I find it too picnicky. It looks like spring, so I don't, I mean, I could have worn it during Christmas. It's also linen, so it kind of has this summer feel. And then these shirts are so weird. I love them so much, but they're kind of very thin summery shirts, or they feel cooling. But also, if you wear them in the summertime, if you sweat your armpits, they change color so much. So that's weird. I'm just going over this stuff again. This one is definitely easy to wear now. And those ones are not easy to wear now. So I'm putting them in order. So this is the next shirt I can wear, the next shirt, the next shirt I can wear. And then this one's, I guess, kind of summery, but I could wear it in the wintertime. These ones are way too summery, just for summer. So that's why I haven't worn those. I should force myself to wear that one. It's probably too fancy for myself and that might be something to consider. Maybe it's just, I feel like it's too noticeable. I like uh, things to be a little more drab and not as noticeable. And maybe that's why uh, that should go away and not be kept. 
because people pay enough attention to me that I don't need them looking at me even, even more. Totes like this, a plastic tote, I would not keep anywhere, but I, and I, I don't accept that. I would definitely not want to have any plastic totes like I do have under my bed, and that's where I keep um, more clothes that I actually wear, but t-shirts, socks and underwear, uh, anything that you would normally have in a drawer is what I keep under there. I've told you this all before if you're uh, a, a, um, a, a regular viewer here, um, but I guess I, I'm, I'm telling myself this stuff. Where was I going? What was I talking about? There was something, something important there. Um, let me look back in here again. Summertime, closed totes. Oh, the totes and the um, plastic totes in the basement make make more sense. So yeah, that's why I do have a shitload of those in the basement, and I do have to make sure that uh, I swap whatever's in the totes in the basement and get out all of the stuff that I can sell from those totes and replace the stuff that I can sell and get rid of with stuff that I don't care about and can be easily discarded and then that is what I should do and I also mentioned that it would make more sense to keep the plastic totes to put in a storage unit if that is um, my future and not use the cardboard boxes but again cardboard boxes fit together so much better and there's actually there's more space in them than in those totes for the same amount of size you're not wasting the curvatures the all of that room but i guess um, most of those storage units would be climate controlled and uh, protected by stuff like that and i'd probably put them on top of pallets and i've probably mentioned all of this stuff before doesn't matter though it doesn't all right so I wanted to make a video. I uh, wanted to make it. I don't. Oh man! I was going to talk about that in this video too. The hair, the hair all over the floor and stuff. Having long hair, it would probably make more sense just to cut it all off. This is not the most flattering place to fit. I can still look. I can still look. I don't know, I think as the beard grows in that it's starting to look better, but I do look, I look literally 20, year, 20 years older than I did before, not than I actually am. I don't know, I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know what to do about anything. I love the time that I'm saving with not shaving every second day or every day that's that's cool i don't like wasting the time i barely like brushing my teeth i brush my teeth fr i floss and brush once a day which i never even used to do that um oh we have to do that video on things that i don't use that no i don't use deodorant or anything i'm not looking to be in a relationship so i don't even care if i smell but i probably don't despite Despite, despite the possibilities. I've, I've been told that I smell like fresh sweat, not, not a dirty sweat, so it doesn't matter. There's a difference. Because I am super clean. I probably, if it wasn't, if it was warmer here, I would definitely shower twice a day, once in the morning and once at night. But I tend to shower just at night. But in the summertime, I do shower much more often because, you know, I need a, a refresh or I jump into splash pads or in my pool. Um, okay, that's it. That's, it. that's that's the update of this place. I'm, uh, it's, it's, you can see that it's packed jam full of stuff, but hopefully now that I've, uh, organized it enough and I've opened that space where you know I can do yoga and where I can actually take out one box at a time that's what I have to really concentrate on and then 
do my eBay, get rid of, get, and just make that decision. Take out a box. Maybe we'll do some of that here. We'll definitely, I want to, I just looked under the sink today. What I have under the sink is, we'll, 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 we'll do that. We'll probably, yeah, I don't know what's under the sink, but everything under the sink is really sorted. I've sorted all of, all of the things that I use in um, health care and body care. And uh, I have, there's some stuff that has to be stored for future uses, but uh, we'll reevaluate that and we can reevaluate that together. I don't know, maybe it'll be a nice long video because my beauty routine is so minute, but maybe I should keep these videos a little more segregated and not as, you know, I, I covered a lot of material here as I always do, but I do like to make long videos. Those are the kind of videos that I like to listen to. And I love this no editing thing that I'm doing, even though I also don't like it. But this is this is as real as it gets, and I never would have been able to do this before. So I am proud of myself that I will let just every part of me, every mistake I make, be seen. Every and or but and pause can be there. I'm surprised actually I mean there's so much going on in my head at the same time and I always come up with a new thought while I'm talking so there's usually not a lot of dead air unless I'm trying to remember what I was trying to talk about can, can you believe can you believe you're listening to this under the sink uh, yeah it would be I thought it would be a really cool video to explore that with you together and we'll maybe we'll be surprised um, the, there's a I know I have lots of jars under there filled with all kinds of things and will I be able to finally say you know what I I actually well I know right now I haven't accessed some of those well and I think there's a section of jars of time, of things in them and I haven't uh, accessed those for probably six months so it would be interesting to see what is in those jars why did i keep those things why did i think i could i know that some of them are like razor attachments uh for hair cutting My hair's looking real. i don't know i think i think i look better this way with the beard i think it's it better for, it makes me look more it makes me look more handsome to have a beard but it definitely makes me look older. So do I want to look more handsome or do I want to look younger? The, that would be the question here. What do you what do you think is better? Leave that leave that. I should do a poll. Maybe I'll also do a poll on the community page. But you can if you've watched it to the end of this video, leave a question. What's better to look younger or more handsome? Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Um, lots more videos coming up. May I will try to dedicate things closely uh, or, or more better. I have been making a lot of lists. Oh, look, we're not over. The video's not over yet. I've been making lists in my notebook of, um, I've been trying to, uh, like, organize my thoughts. So that It actually doesn't even work in the notepad. But I've started putting big titles at the top of a thought that I have so that if I do want to make a an ID and group things together. I can at least put it in the notebook and I can at least sit here even if I don't make a video with flashing titles that go across and all these points are pointed out. I can pull out the book and I can read from it and that way I can organize my thoughts in the book and read them out and also uh, getting your thoughts out of your head and onto a book does relieve some pressure so that that will help me um, not think that I have to hold on to the, every single thought that I have and yeah so I think the notebook has been using some I go through periods where there's nothing to write in the notebook uh, and then periods of time where I'm writing stuff down all the time that I want to remember to make a video about to um, dedicated videos yes so a dedicated video healthcare a dedicated video sorting under the bathroom sink a dedicated video of let's take everything out of the shelf a dedicated video of 
let's just sort through this one box and see what's worth money, what's not. I know that people do like to watch videos like that, so I might as well record it while I'm doing it. I love making videos. I guess I like being able to talk to someone, otherwise I would just have to be talking to myself, so which I in in many ways that's exactly what this YouTube channel is. Let's leave it there. I love you.